Hello, everybody. Coming to you from my home office. We just got a bunch of new details about the Paul Pelosi attack. 911 call, the body cam footage, and surveillance cam footage. So let's go chronologically. Number one, Fox News has the surveillance video footage of David DePap, the attacker, actually breaking into the Pelosi home. Let's watch that first. DePap. And you see him, he put some items down. You see him breaking some glass and the, the fragments of glass. That are that are breaking now. Emily, talk to me about this as evidence in the case. Well, so keep in mind that this suspect is facing federal charges and state at the same time, right? All right. So clearly, what can we take away from that? DePap was not invited into the home. He broke his way in there, and there doesn't appear to have been enough of an alarm system in order to trip 911 or a broken glass uh, window or trigger or anything like that to actually bring law enforcement to the scene. From there, where do we pick up? Pelosi has been taken hostage by Mr. David DePap, and somehow Pelosi is able to call 911. So throughout the course of this 911 call, we're about to listen to a couple of things. Number one, he's clearly in distress. Number two, what's he trying to do. He's trying to finesse the fact that he's literally being held hostage at the same time of trying to get 911 to dispatch, uh, to actually send some officers to his house. Scariest moment of the call for me is specifically when uh, they almost try and hang up on him and say, well, call back if you need us. So take a listen to that in full. Uh, here, just waiting for my wife to come back. Nancy Pelosi. Two, two, and uh, he's just uh, waiting for her to come back. She's not going to be here for a day, so I guess we'll have to wait. But uh, I've got a problem, but he thinks everything's good. Zero, uh, two, okay. Call us back if you need your mind. No, no, no. This, this gentleman just uh, came into the house. Anyway, this, this gentleman says that uh, he thinks everything ought to, you know, he, he told me to put the phone down and uh, just do what he said. Okay. Okay. Who? What's the gentleman's name? I don't know. What's that? My name's David. Da the name is David. Seconds. What's that? I'm a friend of theirs. Yeah, I. I um, he says he's a friend, but as but I said, I, I've never. But you don't know who he is. No, no, ma'am. All right, so as you can see, really dicey moment when she almost hangs up on him, and then they tar start to figure out that something really weird uh, is going on. She keeps saying this is San Francisco police. She's like, well, do you know this man, etc." eventually then dispatching police over to the house. All right, so that's when the body cam footage kicks in. You have police officers arriving on the scene. They f realize, okay, we're at the right house. They ring and kind of knock on the door, and that's when the door opens, and we see a couple of things, it's everything to look out for. Number one, Pelosi is in a strange mood. He's kind of smiling. Uh, he's also holding on to the hammer with David DePap. My initial estimation is he's just trying to do everything he can to keep DePap in the situation as le least stressful as possible, keep the guy calm. DePap himself has a really deranged look on his face. Um, and also, you know, Pelosi having one hand on the hammer, DePap also with his hand on the hammer as well. Uh, really dicey. With the police there, that's what accelerates the situation. Uh, let's take a listen in full. Just a warning for everybody watching this. It's it's uh, it's kind of disturbing, especially on the latter half of the video after he, Paul Osi, actually does get attacked. Let's watch the full thing. Yeah, it literally said that. Hi. Guys. How you doing? How are you? What's going on, man? Everything's good. Hi. Hi Drop guys. the hammer. Um, nope. Hey. Hey, hey, hey. What is Pardon going on right now? I'm not getting an answer on call back. Oh, 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 shit. Oh. 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 So what do we take away from that? Man, just uh, first of all, that horrible sound uh, Pelosi making uh, after being attacked. It, no matter what you think about anybody and you know the things that they have done, old man like that in distress, getting attacked by a deranged individual like this is just horrific, uh, absolutely horrific to see. Two, thank God the police were able to arrive on the scene and, you know, I mean, they uh, immediately kind of sprang into action there to jump the guy off of him. And then honestly, just for Paul Pelosi himself, that took courage in that situation. He kept it diffused as possible, called 911, was able to guy get the guy over there and appears to have kept it at least nonviolent. 
before the police officers arrived. So uh, I guess we can take away a couple of things, you know, in terms of the rumors around what was weird. Clearly, DePap did break into the residence. Uh, also, in terms of the attack itself, I know some people are focusing in on kind of how weird and uh, almost jovial Paul Pelosi was when answering the door. But in context, I think with the 911 call, it's clear he's just trying to keep things as calm uh, as possible. Overall, honestly, a terrifying uh, situation. And I guess, you know, my personal takeaway from it is always be prepared, man. You never know uh, what's going to go down. And it still took a while for the police to get there. So if somebody breaks in your home, be prepared. Have an alarm system. If it's your thing, if that's what you believe in, have something you can defend yourself with because you're the first line of defense. All right, guys, we'll see you later.